I found the craziest and most hilarious LEGO misprints, so let's take a look at these rare LEGO mistakes. This minifigure might have the largest forehead in all of LEGO City. A Reddit user named The Pumpkin Pies posted this image of a LEGO City Sheriff whose face is way lower than it should be, which is quite similar actually to this misprint that I stumbled across on eBay. This LEGO Star Wars head is so messed up that it even has printing on its neck. If you ever wanted to make a Megamind minifigure, this could be the perfect piece. Up next is this hilariously creepy skeleton misprint from LEGO Ninjago. Now, this one's a bit different and rarer because, as you can see, the eyes and cheeks are in the right place, but the black parts have been all shifted upwards. LEGO applies each color as a different stamp, so clearly something caused this piece to come loose in between the rounds of color printing. Speaking of creepy though, this entry from Mr. Mer 24 shows Beaker from the Muppets with some color missing from their mouth. The result is a very worrying nosebleed. Combined with the Muppet figure's bulging eyes, this guy looks like he might need a doctor. Misprints on oddly shaped molded heads like this are slightly more common than regular heads, and a viewer named Purple Hat Dude sent this example of Stitch from the Disney Collectible Minifigures line where an entire ear has been left unpainted. Overall, these kinds of misprints with missing colors aren't particularly valuable, but others you'll see in this video certainly are. On the topic of Disney, user JumpyWall posted two images of this wizard Mickey figure who seems to be giving someone a little side eye. I have no idea what's happening just off to the side of the screen here, but whatever it is, it's got his full attention. However, hands down my favorite Disney misprint is this cursed Pinocchio figure. Normally, minifigure heads don't have a front per se, they're just round, but the Pinocchio minifigure brings in the character's most iconic feature his nose, and it seems like this one missed the mark just a bit. The nose seems to be growing out of the side of his face due to misalignment during the printing process. It's a bit uncomfortable to look at, just like this chart is. A large percentage of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so please take two seconds right now to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Now, sometimes it's hard to tell if you've got a misprint or if it's actually supposed to look like that. Thankfully, BrickGuy42 sent in a few pictures that perfectly compare the original to the error. This Boba Fett visor appears to have melted downwards. This Minecraft minifigure head has somehow been printed around the corner, which is actually really cool. And this Minecraft head looks like it was drawn from memory by someone who hasn't played the game in a while. While these misprints have mostly been missing colors or unaligned prints, sometimes LEGO sneaks a little something extra onto a piece. This submission by Krabby Cabbage 11 shows a castle archer who seems to have seen too many fights. The extra ink splat over his eye is a perfect battle scar. Likewise, this opera singer could probably use another layer of makeup. However, these LEGO errors aren't confined to just plastic people, because you see LEGO animals are also occasionally sent out into sets looking just a little derpy. Case in point is this from user Guestly Studios that has a few errors. Obviously the face is rotated and dropped, but from the side you can see that there are a few other dots that are out of place. In the same vein, this Reddit user opened a LEGO set and got this one-eyed rabbit. But one of the most common misprints from recent years is from LEGO Minifigures Series 24. In fact, there are multiple people who have posted pictures online of them receiving an extremely droopy-faced koala when opening the conservationist minifigure. Was this a single bad batch, or is there just something about this piece that makes it extremely difficult to print on? If you have this droopy koala, I'd love to see it. In fact, if you have any LEGO misprints in your collection and want to be featured in a future video, please email clearhdimages to videos at spitbricks.com. Now, one of my favorite misprints is this submission of a double printed bullet bill. This is actually a rare type of misprint and might be worth some real money to a collector. If you rotate it, Bullet Bill also kind of looks like a sad one-armed monster. But what might be the most commonly misprinted minifigure that I could find though has got to be Chewbacca from LEGO Star Wars. And what's weirder is that they all seem to have the same mistake. This one from Kieran, this one from Panda 3D Craft, and this one from an anonymous user all have the face printed on the back. Again, there seems to be something about this element that LEGO has a hard time keeping straight. But it's not just chewy. I also found a similar mistake on this popcorn guy. Another piece with surprisingly common misprints is R2-D2. 
Now, there have been several versions of this legendary droid, but many of them seem to have the same error pointed out by both Snipe Toes and Ma One. Both have the same wonky angle on the head dome. However, this user had a different problem with their piece. As you can see, when compared to the instructions, the body here seems to be missing a level or two of ink. But it's not really just minifigures that can be misprinted, because any piece or tile with a print on it can turn into a mistake. Just look at this Darth Vader stand that has clearly been printed upside down. Lil Jamzo points out a similar issue with their version of the Starry Night display tile. Though, if I'm being honest, I actually really like the way that the studs are painted here. It makes the Lego piece just a bit more like the actual build. Although that's a pretty subtle mistake that could be easily overlooked, sometimes a Lego misprint actually ruins the entire build. That's the case with the build of the Guardian ship from Guardians of the Galaxy from Reddit user Casual Nuke. The print on the cockpit is skewed so far to the side that it doesn't even resemble a cockpit really anymore. Luckily, LEGO is incredibly good at replacing these kinds of pieces, since for the most part, they're rare occurrences. A less dramatic misprint can be found on this submission from user Mr. Jaybird. It seems that the Lion Knights got a little sloppy on their craftsmanship and missed a half layer of paint on this shield. It's honestly a pretty cool effect, but I can't help but feel like I get a little upset to get something like this in a set of this size. Speaking of large sets, the Titanic is one of the single largest sets ever released with nearly 10,000 pieces. With that much going on, the odds of getting a misprinted piece are higher than average. And that's exactly what happened to Skull Rogue, who was unlucky to get this misprinted piece. It looks like this ship now has a new name, the Titanic. But you see, this isn't the only spelling mistake found in one of these sets, though. Humble's 19 sent in this image of their build. The nameplate here is the very last step of the entire build, so this wouldn't be noticed until spending dozens of hours working, and it had to have been really disappointing to find this. Although you might say that the ink was running low when printing the letter C, technically speaking, this might not be a misprint after all, but rather a packaging error, since this colon tile does in fact appear in the LEGO typewriter set. My prediction is that the wrong printed tile was included in this Titanic set. On the topic of packaging though, it seems that LEGO boxes are also not immune from misprints. Can you spot the printing error on this box on the right side? Well, this box on the right shows the minifigures with purple accents. However, the ones in the set are obviously blue. It appears that LEGO's box printer was miscalibrated or running low on ink. Sadly, this user didn't buy the set to see if the minifigures inside matched the mistake, but it's pretty safe to assume that they didn't. As mentioned earlier, helmets are a particularly common source of misprints, and the misalignment on this Captain America minifigure is quite annoying. But it pairs perfectly with this skewed Whiplash minifigure from Michelle Pard. It has printing on the back of its helmet. In fact, Megatronic 2004 also had a misprint on this same piece, just it's slightly different. Here, the entire print has been placed on the side of the helmet. Which of these two Whiplash misprints is worse? Let me know in the comments. Now, this one isn't technically a misprint as there's no printing on it, but it's definitely a manufacturing mistake worth pointing out. This picture shows what's known as a short shot. That's the name for this pretty rare mistake where not enough plastic gets injected into the mold. The vast majority of these get spotted pretty easily by LEGO's quality assurance team, so these are truly rare finds in LEGO sets. Now, of course, LEGO Star Wars Troopers are some of the most varied minifigures coming in with more than 50 unique versions. With that much variety, it's only natural that some mistakes get made. This completely unprinted trooper helmet is quite a rare mistake, but one that's practically worthless, honestly. Either way, I like it. Meanwhile, this submission from Creeper Star 83 seems unprinted at first until you turn the minifigure around. These kinds of reversed prints are pretty common with trooper helmets, as we can see another version of the same mistake in these pictures from Fit Nectarine. I mean, wow, there are a lot of unique misprints, but which are the most valuable? Click here to see the most valuable LEGO misprints and subscribe to my channel for more LEGO videos.